Hard work is the key. Walang ibang kapalit yan. Gusto mong mulat, tiyaga, at sipag ang kailangan. Nasabi ng mga tao ko ngayon, hanggang ngayon, oh, sarap yung Colgate mo eh. Oo. Ayun yung ano minsan ito eh, pumupunta ng tinda. Oh, pagbila lang ng Colgate, gusto oh, ko happy. Oo, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, meron ka bang happy na Colgate? Ay, <laughs> sabi ko kay daddy ko, uh, pwedeng magnegosyo ako rito sa kaklase ko. Nagbenta ako sa mga classmates ko. Sabi ng classmates ko, wala kaming pambayat eh. Oh. Wala kaming pera. Ang pera na may pambaon eh. Uy, pautang mo. Sige, sige. Pag uh, pay me whenever. Pag may pera ka na, tsaka, tsaka mo akong bayaran. O, bang karaute, asis, isi, <laughs> lipid. O. A sale is not a sale unless collected. Ay, ang galing no. nun. Hi there, this is Shinky Tan, your Pambansang World Coach. Nako, sa araw na ito, napakapalad po natin na makakasama po natin ang isa sa mga nasabihin nating uh, haligi, lalo na sa pagninegosyo at the same time sa pag-uumpisa. No? Isa siyang kilalang Filipino-Chinese na nagsimula rin sa ikayang payak at simpleng pamumuhay. Pero ngayon po ay talagang matagumpay na. Kaya huwag na natin patagilin. Uh, let's welcome, syempre, ang original founder, CEO, at syempre naman, that was the past. No? Pero ngayon, siya na po ay retired na. Let Let us welcome the owner and founder of Happy Toothpaste Lamoyan, Mr. Cecilio Pedro Kuok. Hi, Cecilio. Good morning. Ay, ay, ay. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Uh, kaibigan natin si Chinky. Uh, it's been a long while. We uh, last talked to each other. It's a pleasure to be part of your beautiful program of encouraging and motivating Filipinos to become entrepreneurs. Yeah. Kaya natin yan. Ang mga Pilipino ay magaling. Kaya natin maging negosyo at talunin kahit sino dyan sa bayan natin. O, oh, grabe. Nag-uumpisa pa lang tayo. Nagbigay na ng inspiration. Ha? So, siguro, Cecilio, no? uh, let's start with yung uh, humble beginnings mo. Oh, how did you start? Ikaw ba yung unang negosyante sa family? My dad, uh, together with my uh, uncle, were together in uh, in a company importing milk. Birch Tree at that time. Maaga oh. pa yun. Yes. So, in the 50s and in the 60s, sila po ang nag-import ng mga Birch Tree milk powder. Ang Birch Tree, di ba yung mga gauss ba yun? Yung mga yun ba yun? It, no. Ay, no. Yung Wu? Wu ba yun? Wu is uh, married to my cousin, oh. uh, Lourdes C. It's a C family, C. Chi Xiong and oh, Company okay, Incorporated. Okay. So that was the beginning. And I had my uh, my father was working with my da- with my uncle and I was uh, in college and uh, my training really started in uh, lumber, in a Baliwak lumber where my father had a little investment and every summer I was instructed to go there <laughs> and to learn the basic uh, skills oh. needed for trading. Lumber yard and lumber. So mm. we buy and sell uh, uh, lumber, we do uh, trading in uh, nails, kung mga kailangan sa lumber. Mm. So, these are sa lumber uh, company. So, that was my training uh, way back in high school and even part of my college. I studied in Ateneo and I graduated in uh, 1975. After spending uh, a week for my uh, singing uh, hobby, <laughs> I was uh, bringing uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ to uh, the entire uh, Philippines, or including Visayas and Mindanao. And for more than a week after that, balik namin dito sa Manila. Trabaho na ako. Nag-start kami ng negosyo doing business, eh, doing hardware business. Hardware? Uh, hardware. Yun ang, uh, yun ang unang pinasukan namin. Also mm. trading. We import, uh, we call it uh, five uh, basic uh, metals. Gold. Uh, uh, not gold, uh, aluminum, stainless, copper, uh, but the five, we in Chinese it's called the uh, five metals, but it is basically hardware store. <laughs> Kasama yung screws and nuts. So this is uh, from 1975 after my graduation up to 1978, uh, venture into this uh, collapsible aluminum tubes. Mm. We were making aluminum collapsible tubes for the toothpaste oh. industry. Yeah. So before the toothpaste industry siguro, uh, very interesting kasi sinabi mo. Mm. Di ba parang yung bata ka pa, di ba, pag summer vacation, di ba, parang pinapasok ka to learn. Yeah. Di ba? Mm. Una, bakit kaya naging culture yan ng mga Filipino-Chinese? Ah, kami rin, ganun din eh, pinapasok mm. din kami. Bakit naging uh, kultura kaya? Alam mo, yung kultura ng hard work is very important for Chinese. Eh. Many, many of our forefathers came from uh, Fujian, from mm. uh, China, where they have to work so hard, so hard. 
work. Kasi we don't, unlike the Philippines, we can plant year round. In China, there are only one or two seasons for you to plant. Oh. So during those one or two seasons, trabaho talaga. You wake up very early in the morning and you work until in the afternoon and then you go home and then continue working sa, sa, sa bahay. You know? And when I was in the lumber business, I went there and we have to wake up 4 o'clock in the morning kasi the store will be open by 6. Mm. So tuloy-tuloy yan. And we close at around 6 in the evening and then we have to do inventory sa to mga 7 o'clock. So 4 to 7. Wow. Araw-araw yan. Walang hinto yan until wow. Saturday. Sunday is the only rest day. So mm. that kind of a culture of hard work is inculcated in the minds and hearts of Chinese Filipinos or Chinese. Mag hard work is the key. Walang ibang kapalit dyan. Gusto mong mula, tiyaga, at sipag ang kailangan. Dito ka naman pinanganak? Yeah, I was born in Umay. Pasay. Pasay boy. Uh, eh. So, parang ano eh. Um, totoo ba? Kasi, syempre, hindi ko na rin inabutan. No? My parents, ay, my, I think my parents were also born here. Or ako, ako yung na pinanganak dito. Pero, may kasabihan daw before, ang mga Chinese daw, ang original OFWs or uh, OCWs, Overseas yeah. Chinese Workers. Bakit? Yeah. Kasi, sa sobrang hirap daw sa China before. Yeah. May philosophy daw, may, may mantra sila, anywhere but not China. Totoo exactly. ba yon? Exactly. Uh, my, I was told by my dad, ang hirap talaga sa China dahil uh, you can only uh, plant one or two seasons, only about six months. The, the other six months, you sit down and wait for harvest to come in and hopefully mm. you have a good harvest to sustain you year-round. For one year. For one year. Kaya talagang isang tuka, isang, isang eh, tawag niya, isang, isang tuka, kain. isang kain. Oo. Alam, what is... Harvest that is just good enough to last for kaya, the family. Kaya maraming nag-migrate na... Exactly. Nag -out, na, kaya nga, di ba Chinese are all over the world? Right, right. Uh, for the southern part, which is Fujian, mm -hmm. mostly came to uh, Southeast Asia. You're talking of uh, Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, mm -hmm. and even to uh, Singapore. Mm -hmm. So, Indonesia, marami din. It's the southern part, which is Fujian and even Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. Canton, they call it Canton, Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. So, these two regions are where most Chinese came from. Mm -hmm in Southeast Asia. Some of them went to Europe, some of them went to the US, but marami po sa kanila pumunta rito sa, sa Pilipinas. Asia, oh, Asia, no? oh. So, masasabi mo ba, uh, uh, Cecilio, na yung OFWs natin ngayon, may opportunity rin, katulad na nangyari sa mga Filipino-Chinese na darating yung panahon, they will be owner of business also. Yeah, di ba? Kasi when you talk about Filipino Chinese in Malaysia, in, ano, in Hong Kong, lahat, karamihan sila their business owners. Di ba? Yung parang nagmula sa wala, tapos nagnegosyo. Tama po yun. Dati, dati I remember it, sabi ng daddy, in the early 50s, they were banned from uh, retail trade. The Chinese were not allowed to do retail trade. It was during Mak Sai Sai's uh, term as president. So, instead of going into uh, retail, pumasok sila ngayon sa manufacturing, sa ibang negosyo other than retail. And some of them became adopted the Filipino citizen. Kaya naging oh. maraming Chinese ay naging Filipino. Yeah. Because of that particular law, okay. which only pro which prohibits foreigners in retail trade. So marami okay. sa kanila, nag-adopt or they married a Filipina, Filipina. and uh, use their wife or their partner to become uh, owners of uh, companies. Okay. So that was the reason. Ano? But other than that, that tama yung sinabi nyo, mahirap din mag, uh, maging part dito sa Pilipinas eh. Oh. Dahil may liit ang kit eh. So they were forced to to do uh, trading. And at that time, they also banned foreigners from owning land. So oh, tama. if you come here, you don't own a land, why, how, work, how can you plant? So eventually, we were forced to, Chinese were forced to do retail and then eventually into manufacturing and other business other than retail. Mm. Of course, as the year passed, may, may marami sa kanila, may mga anak na, may lumaki na, so they adopted the Filipino citizen thanks to uh, President Marcos yes. Marcos Sr. Uh -huh. who gave us this naturalization law. Mm. So marami po sa kanila nag-adopt ng Filipino citizen and from henceforth they can own land they can do business and they can do everything mm. just like a Filipino. So that was the history. Ngayon maraming Pilipino umaalis dahil napakahirap na rin magnegosyo dito sa Pilipinas kung okay. wala kang kapital. Okay. So maraming umaalis kasi maganda yung trabaho sa labas at mataas ang bayaran nila for mm. salary. Like whatever ipon ni they they get, they want to send back to the family and generate some income through business. So, kailangan marunong sila mag 
negosyo. Mm-hmm. Kaya kausapin niyo si Jinky sa negosyo. <laughs> Siya ang expert to dito kung paano maging Ay, negosyante. Di ba? Yan ang uh, Ano ko ba? Kaya, kaya nga ako nandito para matuto eh. Let's talk about naman. Let's go back to your personal journey. So, from the hardware business, di ba? Uh, right now, pa- sinabi mo, paano ka naman napasok naman sa toothpaste o sa toothpaste business? Uh, naging, uh, I went into manufacturing, as I said, uh, into making collapsible tubes. Pinag- kasi nahi- nahirapan din kami sa trading eh. I remember when I was in the hardware business, the t- payment terms was too long. Maabot ng 120 days, 150 Grabe. days. So, sabi ko, walang mangyayari sa atin. Ano? Yung pera namin ang ginagamit ng ibang uh, tao for whatever purpose they want. So, kasi if you're in the first layer, you import and then you sell to to the retailers, they, binabayaran nila 120 days, 150 days. Sabi ko, walang mangyayari sa pera ko eh. So, we decided to go into manufacturing. Okay, before you continue, no? Uh, kasi may mga ibang na hindi naintindihan yung 100, 120, 150 days. Hmm. Guys, papaliwanag ko lang, ibig sabihin yan, sila nagninegosyo, pinapautang nila, kukolek sila, maghihintay sila ng tatlong buwan o limang buwan bago makakolekta. Tama po yun. Oo. Oo. Pero hindi lang yun. Ang anong pa masakit? Ano pa minsan masakit na nangyayari? Oh, hindi ka binabayaran. <laughs> Tinatakbuhan ka, diba? Grabe, no? Oh, I remember when I was in grade 1. Oh. So, when I was still in grade school, uh, my dad, uh, sabi ko kay daddy ko, uh, pwedeng magnegosyo ako rito sa kaklase ko. Grade 1 ka? Grade 1. Sabi ko, anong gusto mo? Sabi ko, pairam ng uh, konting pera, bibili ako ng ball pen para ibenta ko sa mga classmates ko kasi everybody is using ball pens. Sabi ko, daddy, okay, binigyan ako ng uh, ball pen. O, nagbenta ako sa mga classmates ko. Sabi ng classmates ko, wala kaming pambay. Ay, ate, uh-huh. wala mang pera, ang pera namin pambaon eh. Oy, pautang mo sige, sige, pag uh, pay me whenever, pag may pera ka na, saka saka mo akong bayaran. O oh, bang karaoke assist si Lipen do. Hindi ako binayaran. So, I remember, a sale is not a sale unless collected. Ay, ang galing Ayun. noon. Grabe. Oy, tatandaan niya yan, ha. Tatandaan niya yan. Oo, mm-hmm. ang benta ay hindi benta hanggat hindi ka nakakakolekta. Tama po 'yun. Oo. Oh, oh. At saka yung we have a saying eh, no, sa Chinese, no. Ya tao tian. Oo. Ano ibig sabihin ng tao tian? Oo, oh, sakit ulo. <laughs> Ima- uh, hindi kasi ang sakit talaga, no? Yung uh, parang, imagine mo, namuhunan ka na, pinagtrabahuan mo na, nagbang makaawa ka pa? Yeah, just to collect. Ah, ang hirap talaga mag-collect. Tapos ang tagal-tagal. Minsan, dinidelay niya. Ba- pinabalik-balik. Just just so they can make use of your funds. So, sabi ko, this is not a way to go. Okay, guys. Kung sino sa inyo nakaka-relate ngayon, type relate ha, sa comment section at kwento nyo rin. Mm-hmm. So, right now, because of that experience, kaya pumunta ka sa? Manufacturing. Okay. Tell so, us pinag- the story. Oh, so, pinag-usap, pinag-usapan namin kung anong pwedeng pasukan na hindi kami magpapautang ng 120 days or 150 <laughs> days. Ano? Galing. So, one of them is to sell uh, this tube collapsible tubes to the multinational companies. Mm. Uh, mga multinational companies uh, like Colgate, Unilever, and Procter & Gamble, mahusay magbayad yan. 30 days, 60 days, on the dot, babayaran ka. Tama. So, sabi ko, maganda ito kasi walang problema tayo sa credit. Mm. And then, if we go to the bank, sasabihin namin na we are doing business with these big companies, they're more than willing to help us and lend us also money to su- sustain the operation. So, these are things we put together and eventually, we started a business selling aluminum collapsible tubes to Colgate and Unilever. How long did it last? Gano katagal yun? Uh, that's a long story. I started in 1978. Mm-hmm. It lasted up to 1986. Eight years. Eight years. Eight years then. Yes. Eight years before they decided to switch from aluminum to plastic laminated tubes. So we expanded through those eight years from a single machine to four lines, complete lines, uh, producing millions of tubes every month to supply Colgate and Unilever. Pero nagkaroon daw ng ano guys ha, pakinggan nyo to ha lahat ng mga negosyo may mga challenges yan ba 8 years na talagang sobrang ganda at bigla na lang nagkaroon ng challenge diba? yeah yeah so uh, after that sabi niya we are switching to plastic laminated tubes this will be your last PO sabi nyo ha that's that's all Oh, ano ang gagawin ko? Sabi ko, sabi ko, sa ano ang gagawin ko? Sabi niya, problema mo na yan. Kasi, <laughs> sabi ng boss namin sa sa US, palitan yan. O, di palitan. So, so imagine mo, ang laki ng overhead mo at saka employees mo. Oh, yeah. I have more than 200 employees working for me just to supply them. So, I realized, the lesson for me at that time, don't rely on one customer or two customers or, ano, company. Uy, guys, powerful yan. Ha? That's another life lesson that you should put down. Oh. Diba? Na, na, yun nga, number one, yung kanina, ang benta, hindi benta hangga, hanggat di nakakolekta. Ang oh. pangalawang rule ngayon, oh. ne- 
never put your eggs in one, one basket. basket. Oh, oh, or, oh. or two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dalawa lang customer namin eh. <laughs> Hindi yun eh. Kasi, alam mo, this is a very powerful lesson na kailangang mm. ilista nyo na agad. Again, if you commit this mistake, it will be a costly mistake. Mm. Pag iisa lang ang client mo na malaki. Mm. Diba? Just like what happened exactly. to you. Exactly. Oh, kung ayaw nilang bumili sa'yo, patay ka na. Sarado. Oh, oh. And also, that also apply to supplier. Yep. Okay, explain mga uh, Cecilio in yeah. regards to suppliers. Uh, suppliers, we have uh, as much as possible two to three suppliers. So there is competition. Laging may competition. Kailangan may, may uh, competition in a sense that they, whoever can give you the best price with the best quality gets the business. Oh. So yan ang labanan. So kailangan may two to three suppliers. Anong problema pag iisa lang ang supplier mo? Wala kang choice. Oh. <laughs> At saka hindi lang yun. Pag nagtaas siya ng presyo, wala kang... Uh, wala kang choice. Oh. Uh, bibili mo lahat kasi wala kang ibang supplier. Oh. So, always have two to three. Kung masyado marami, magulo din eh. Mm. So, two to three is about right. Oh. Uy, grabe naman. Uy, eto ah, these two, ano lang, <laughs> these two lessons lang that we have learned from, ano lang, Cecilio, grabe, this will help you save millions and save your business. Mm. So, let's proceed. So, ngayon, nawala na yung PO, wala na lahat. Ano nangyari? Wala, sarado kami for two years. Wow. 86. So, I went to the Lord. I asked the Lord, bakit naman? Why am I closing my business? I've been serving you faithfully in church. I've been singing in the choir for so many years, <laughs> di ba? Ma, uh, okay naman ang uh, service ko sa iyo sa sa simbahan. And the Lord replied to me in Jeremiah 29:11, uh -huh. I know my plans for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Ah, sabi ko, ah, there must be something bigger and better than this. Wow. So I remember the, at that time the story of William. William was a poor boy. The mother was a very good Christian and he she instructed his son, William, every Sunday, kahit konti lang kita natin, ito pang uh, pang uh, donation mo sa simbahan. Don't forget to give to the church. And he grew up with his mom. Mm. So, talagang hirap na hirap sa UK. So, they decided to transfer to move out from UK to Pennsylvania, USA. William started to work for a soap company. The first salary he received from the company, he gave it entirely to church following his mom's instruction. So, naging very, very hardworking si William. And the Lord blessed him. Eventually, he got to own the soap company. Wow. And he started a toothpaste in the soap company. His name is William Colgate. Oh! Ah, yung pala mayari ng Colgate. Oh. So, ah, the Lord bless him until he, he eventually he passed away and he gave half of his fortune to the church and to the ministry. Sabi ko, Lord, maybe that's what you want me to be here in the Philippines. Galing. The William of the Philippines. So that started this journey of creating my own toothpaste to follow the wonderful, wonderful uh, story of William. That started my dream to put toothpaste in my tubes. So I went around, I went to the US, I went to Habang, Square, ang, Habang Kwento, I went to China looking for remember that time Maxam Maxam was available yeah. in the Philippines yeah. uh -oh. I went to Maxam Shanghai toothpaste company sabi nila okay well, we'll, we'll, we'll give you uh, give you uh, uh, the rights to to represent uh, Maxam in the Philippines pag balik ko rito sumulat sila ulit sorry uh, we have another party China, China at that time walang, walang isang salita eh. mas may, may perma na yan loyalty wala, loyalty wala, 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 oh. palit oh. Oh, sabi ko ah, I will not I just come out with my own so I remember oh. my friends in Japan who was a supplier for tubes. Binili ko yung uh, makina, yung first makina ka. Binili ko sa Sunstar Toothpaste Company. It was an old, old equipment in the 50s and they did want to discard it and we bought it. So I asked the brokers, sabi ko, tulungan mo kami, I want to make toothpaste. So they said, okay. They talked to a uh, company, they named, the name is Okina. They were supplier of small toothpaste sa mga hotels and motels yes. in Japan. Yes. So sabi na, for $20,000, we sent two of our engineers to study how to make toothpaste in Japan. For two months, nag-aral sila, napakadali yung toothpaste. He just mix so many, I think about seven or eight components, ingredients, so. ingredients and then you have toothpaste. Any chemist can do it. Hindi naman, hindi naman rocket science yan. Tama. Napakadali. And the hard part is, ano yung mahirap? Marketing. Ayo, yeah. magpakilala. Yeah, mahabang story yan, mahaba. So, ngayon, oh, si, so meron ka ng makina, meron ka ng produkto. Ang pinakamahirap na alam mo sa pagnenegosyo, hindi naman yung concept minsan yung idea, eh. execution. Mm. Eh. Yeah. So, so what happened? Well, in marketing, you in 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 class, ano? In Ateneo, we the four piece of marketing, alam mo yeah. ba? Price, product, uh, pro uh, product uh, 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 place, promotion. Tama. Sabi ko, pinag-aralan ko, sabi ko, lalaban ka sa mga multinational. multinational. Place, may magaling ang placement nila. Eh, ba? Promotion, may pera sila pang promotion. Yung product nila, 
Maganda yung product nila eh. Yung price nila, mataas. Saan ka may laban? Price. Oh. Diba? Sabi ko, oh, price lang ang may laban. The rest, wala kami laban eh. So, how do you use price to counter all of these challenges? So, yun ang pinag-aralan namin. So, eventually, we come out with a price that is half the price of Colgate. Half the price. And I use the Japanese technology to see to it that my quality is as good. Diba? Japanese technology. And then, uh, promotion, a place. I use my... Uh, Little connection in Birch Street. My, my dad, mm. ba, Birch Street. Mm. So, may mga connect-connect na yan. Eh, sa supermarket. supermarket no, yes. No. Kinausap ko na lang. Sabi ko, tulungan mo kami. Mm. Maliit lang kami. Susubukan namin. Oh, sige, sige. Uh, ito, this place for you to display. So, that's how we started. And then, eventually, yung promotion, yun ang pinaghirapan ko talaga. How do I promote this product? So, mm. first, we have to come up with a brand that is easy to uh, high recall. Mm. Di ba? Kasi Colgate is Colgate. Eh. Sabi, mm. ng brand, sabi ng mga tao ko ngayon, hanggang ngayon, oh, sarap yung Colgate mo eh. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ayun yung ano yung minsan ito eh, pumupunta ng tinda. Ay, pag bilang ng Colgate, gusto oh, ko happy. Oo, oh, oh, yeah. yan. <laughs> oh, meron ka bang happy na Colgate? Ay, <laughs> uh, anyway, eh, nagkasana yan yan eh, for so many years. Dama. So, yun ang challenge ko. So, fortunately, I came, the word, came out with the brand Happy. Oh, oh dito. Uh, paano nag-umpisa yun? Umpisa, nung una, sinubukan namin yung smile. S-M-I-L-E. Ah. But when we were registering it, and uh, the patent office allow other companies to re- register the brand without a product. Ngayon, bawal na yan. Oh, oh, oh. So, it was registered by Procter & Gamble. So, sabi namin, ay, naku, hindi pwede pala yung smile. So, pag balik namin sa office, somebody recommended, well, kung you smile, why not happy? Sabi ko, happy, yeah, good name. Pero, corny, it's a PPY, it's a brand. Palitan natin ang spelling. So, gawing, ginawa kong it's a p w e The spelling sounds like happy uh-huh. and the recall is very high, happy. Uh-huh, happy. So, happy yeah. was born because of that. When was that? Anong taon? 1980. 87. 87. Uh, and we formulated close to 200 formulations. Oh. Trial and error. Sinub- sinusubog namin. Kasi galing oh. Japan, iba yung formulation eh. Kailangan sa Japan, hindi masyadong mabula. Ah, dito gusto ng Pilipino oh, bula. Sekreto yun. Dito, Pilipino gusto nila mabula. Oo. Oh, oh. so, yun. Yung lasa nila, medyo not as, uh, uh, medyo Masin. maalat. Maalat, oh, maalat. Oh, maalat oh. Dito sa atin, matamis. Oh, dito matamis eh. Oh, so, oh, iba oh. na naman yan. Hmm. So, di- there are certain ingredients that are slightly different but basic ingredients are the same so those are components so we we have to twist test test it out in the market to see which one is adaptable mm. finally we came out with something that is close to Colgate and then we started selling it in the market at half the price ano nangyari nung ni launch na wala wala nangyari <laughs> Talaga? Sabi ko, kailangan na... Hindi eh, bumenta? Oo, oh, kailangan. May TV eh. So, ah, oo. Oh, oh. eh, 88, uh, I remember, uh, we, there was this uh, Olympic in uh, Korea. Oh. Uh, sabi ko, sige, bukan natin mag-promote sa using the Olympic uh, logo. So, kinausap ko yung Olympic uh, committee. Sabi ko, wala akong pera, but if you are willing to accept a little contri- donation to help our athletes, mm. we are willing. Sabi ko, okay, well, any any help is is okay with us. Philippine Olympic Committee, walang sumusuporta dahil walang panalo ang Philippines eh. Ah. Wala naman potential mag-medal eh, di ba? Uh-huh. So, sabi ko, okay. I gave 50,000, I remember that time. Malaking pera na yun, eh? 88? Malaki na yan, 88. Oh, maliit lang compared to uh, what the multinationals are oh, 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 paying. Oh. Sabi ko, in return for 50,000, can you allow me to use the Olympic rings? Sabi niya, okay. He used the Olympic rings. Mabasa ko ng commercial. Hodori. I remember Hodori, the, hmm. the mascot of uh, uh, Seoul Olympic. Hmm. So he ran with a torch up a platform hmm. and announced, happy, the hmm. official toothpaste of okay. the Philippine Olympic team. Oh, oh. Nilagay ko official pag Now, siya, happy Olympic rings, lumabas, five Olympic rings. And then, the official toothpaste of the Philippine Olympic team, maliit lang sa ilalim. Oh. Hmm. Kala na tao, I sponsor the Olympics. <laughs> Gobe. Oh, luma kasang sales ng hap. Talaga gayon na. So, guys, makikita mo talaga ha. Ang pag nag-uumpisa kayo ng negosyo, aside from doing business plan, research, everything looks good on paper. Pero pag ni-launch mo talaga, maniwala ka, hindi na siya pareho, 'di ba? Kaya nga hindi nga bumenta, 'di ba? Sinabi mo talaga. So, pero yun nga, as an entrepreneur, one of the characteristic is you don't stop. Kaya nga, yun nga, yung inisip na po niya na to be able to sponsor, yun nga yung sa Olympic, uh, Philippine Olympic uh, Committee. Hmm. So, because of that, ano nangyari sa campaign pagkatapos ng campaign? Malumakas na happy. Dahan-dahan, may bumibili na. Ito pala yung Olympic uh, toothpaste. Ah, oh, so, official. 
Yeah. So, but uh, oh, up to a certain volume. So, the next thing we do is to come up with our own commercial. Uh, Ay, hindi ko makalimutan yun. Oh, yun. Ay, hulaan ko, ah. Oh. Sinong unang kinuha nila? Oh. Si, I think, Rufa Gutierrez. That's yes? correct. Totoo ba? Totoo. Totoo. Oo, hindi ko makakalimutan yes, yun. Iconic yes. yun, eh. Iconic. That was her first commercial. Ah! Yes, 88. Kaibigan namin si uh, Kuya Germs. Kasi... Ay, ay naku. <laughs> oh, ay, grabe si Kuya Germs. Nako, hindi mawawala yan, no? Oh. Uh, yeah. Every time na may ginest siya, yep. may package siya. Oh, tama yun, tama Tapos, yun. ano sasabihin? Oo, oh. oh, ito na, iniisa-isa niya. Hmm. Di ba? Last this washing sa kanya rin ang, uh, ang promotion. So, that's... Genius yun, ha? How, yeah. much, how much did you pay for that, ano, yung ganun? Hindi, kaibigan namin yan, eh, dahil sa Birch Tree, eh. She was, she was also helping Birch Tree. So, she... He, pumapasok lang kami sa programa ni Kuya Jerms to sponsor. We have uh, ads ano, at that time. Pero nung initially, sabi ko, tulungan mo kami. Can you introduce us to some model, some actress that can endorse our product? In, sinabi niya kagad, oh, si Rufa, bagay, bagay sa inyo dahil maganda yung ipin niya. And she will, have, she will become a big actress in the years to come. So, we go, sige, subukan natin. So, lumabas kami and then we started a commercial using kumukuti-kuti tapos. Oh, oh. Ang hirap din ang, ang dinaanan namin. Maraming, <coughs> mak- makwento yan, maraming. It took me uh, several uh, weeks to come out with the Concept. kumukuti-kuti tap. Oh, yeah. Alam mo yung uh, scriptwriter, Marami siyang pinipresent sa akin. Puro sabi ko, no, no, no. Hindi pwede yung ano. Kami na, 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 na Ilang balik na ako sa inyo, nahirapan na ako. Mag-inom na lang ako. Sa gabi, nag man siya. And uh, sa inuman niya, tumingin siya sa langit, nakita niya yung mga, yung mga between, between eh, kumukuti-kutita. <laughs> sabi niya, oh, baka, baka gusto ni Mr. Pedro ito. The next day, uh-huh. he came to the office. Sabi niya, oh, yung kumukuti-kutita, gusto mo ba? Sabi ko, oh, perfect. That's what we want. Okay. So that started the dream. That started the campaign of kumukuti-kutita. Wow. Ayun. Fast forward na tayo. Fast forward. So, uh, 88 yan. No? I can still 88. remember, you know why? Hmm. Because I got into the movies from 87 to 1994. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, oh. Oh. And then during that time, madalas kami may kuya germs talaga. Oh. Nakasama ko rin si Rufa during that time. Ah, I see. Uh, we did several movies, uh, 88, uh, 88 and 89. Oh, bago lang si Rufa. Eh. Yes, bagong-bago lang. Oh. Al- ano pa nga, liit-liit pa niya nun. Man, oh, pero malaki na rin. Eh, she's very tall. Eh. Yeah, because of ano. Oh. Well, oh. 80 se- uh, so 88, now, fast forward 2024. Ilang taon na yung happy to 35. We're going 36. Hmm. At ang balita ko, ret- retired ka na. Yeah, retarded na tayo. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, in 1980, uh, nine, when I hit uh, 60, I started planning for my retirement. So, wow. 65, I want to retire already. So, I talked to my son, gusto mo ba ang negosyo nito? Ayaw. Kung, kung ayaw mo, ibibenta ko na ito. Mm-hmm. Eh, kung gusto mo, di tuloy mo. Mm-hmm. Eh, sabi niya, gusto. So, pumasok siya early. Early... Uh, Early 2008, 2008 okay. or 2010, and then started training in the in the company until uh, two years ago. Decided to say it then. Instead of uh, 65, I retired at uh, 19 uh, uh, when I was 69 or 70 last year. 70, 10 years took him 10 years to learn the ropes, and then now he's the CEO. Wow, ang galing naman. No? Siguro yun ang dapat ng vision no ng lahat ng mga nagnenegosyo, di ba? Yeah, it uh, the the transition is not automatic. Eh. You have to to give time for your next generation to be trained and dapat uh, gusto nila. Mm-hmm. Pag ayaw nila, eh, wala mangyayari. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it has to be intentional, hindi natural. Some uh, entrepreneurs say, ah, anak ko yan, eh, sigurado ibibigay ko sa kanya, bahala na siya. Mm-hmm. Hindi, hindi pwede yan. It should be intentional. There must be a transition period whereby initially, dun sa transition period, kasama ko sa meeting, he, he is already the COO. Op- Chief Operation. Chief Operating uh, Officer. Hindi ano, no? uh, hindi child of the owner. Yeah, and then, and then. <laughs> See, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, pero when he makes a decision, ang tingin ng tao, lahat tingin sa akin, ano bang gusto ko? Sabi ko, walang mangyayari sa iyo. No? You, you still come back to me for all decisions. I abandon the, uh, the committee, the, we call it executive committee, ex-com. Mm-hmm. Ah, bahala ka na. Mm-hmm. You make mistakes, okay lang sa akin. Mm-hmm. Just don't, don't uh, kill the company. 
Yeah, siguro yun nga. One, one siguro, lesson that you taught your son in terms of making mistake or taking risk. Ano yung sinabi mo sa kanya? Okay lang mag-mistake. Don't kill the company. <laughs> yeah. So, ang ibig ba sabihin yan, uh, si Sidio, is parang ano na rin, sa mga nag start uh, when it comes to business and investment, is never invest the money they can afford to lose? Yeah. They, there are two sides. Ano? You take risk. Eh. Hmm. In uh, negosyo, you have to take risk. Eh. But you also calculated risk ang tawag na. You calculate if this risk goes wrong, buhay ka pa o patay? Oh, makaka-recover ka ba o hindi? Oh, kung patay so, na, don't, don't do that. Don't take the risk. Oh, don't take that kind of a risk. That will kill the company. Pero kung, let's say, makaka-recover ka, is it worth taking? Okay take? lang. Oh, okay lang. Okay. Because uh, in, in, uh, negosyo is about risk. It's about mm. taking risk. If you play it safe, you will not grow. You just stay there. Mm. You want to grow, you venture into other aspects. Like right now, we're going into sachet. Mm. Oh, yung sachet, dati is just sachet. Ngayon, may sachet namin make with cups. Make up na. Diba? Oh. So, may risk yan eh. Mm. Tatanggapin man ng, nego- ng mga Ta- consumer o hindi. o hindi. Eh, fortunately, tinanggap naman eh. Mm. Kasi matipit na. And then you close it, mas malinis yung mm. uh, makeup. Eh. So it's now acceptable. But uh, a few years back, baka hindi pa, kasi kasanayan tayo sa tubes. Eh. Mas mm. madaling i-press. Eh. Yung sachet, medyo lambot. But eventually, they get used to it. And uh, that, that entails risk-taking. You mm. must take the risk. So you must invest in equipment. You invest in the materials to produce those products. Mm. Eh, pag hindi nag-click, Ay, so, eh, kawawa yung makina. Pero affordable naman eh. Hmm. Diba? So, Hindi ka naman babaksak dahil dyan eh. So, are you saying also para mag-grow ang isang negosyo, kailangan ng innovation? May innovation, yes. Uh, it's very important that uh, you innovate. That's part of our core value. Eh. We use the word spirit as our core value. Social, we believe in social responsibility. We have to be socially responsible. So, we employ the hearing impaired in our company to make sure that hearing impaired are given equal opportunities, mm-hmm. okay? We uh, pride ourselves in uh, perseverance. Yung giving up is not an option. Eh. Wow. Sa negosyo, bawal lang ang sumuko. Ang sumuko, talo eh. Tama, tama. Diba? And I is about integrity. You mm-hmm. you promise something, you deliver. Wow. If you cannot deliver, don't, don't promise. Diba? Mm-hmm. Can you remember yung sa business mo na talagang, yun nga, you made a probably defective product and then it costs you a lot of money but you have to throw away yung yung products niyan umabot ba sa ganun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initially, the first few few batches of toothpaste, we throw away kasi hindi tama yung formulation eh. May trial, pa, kahit paano may trial yan eh. Especially the startup initially. So, but that was also an opportunity. Nakita ni engineer namin, sayang eh boss, tinatapon natin yung mga toothpaste. Why not come up with some products using the ta- the wasted raw materials. So, hmm. lumabas yung dishwashing paste. Oh. Uh, ah, pwedeng gamitin oh, sa ano? gamitin sa dishwashing. Oh, oh. Oh, diba? Galing. Toothpaste, eh. we put in additional active ingredients for cleaning and came out the dust dishwashing paste. Galing, galing. That was a byproduct of the rejects of toothpaste that we have to throw away. Ang galing, galing. So, balik tayo. Yung sinasabi mo, innovation, integrity, integrity ano pa? R is to respect. So, mm. we respect our individual. Mm. Kailangan may respect. Eh. Uh, you respect your company, people. People is the fifth P for us. Eh. Mm. There are four P's. I have a fifth P, which is person. Mm-mm. The people inside. Every person, every individual is treated as an individual, as an asset for the company. That for me is very important. Mm. That is respect. Mm. And then the next I is innovation. You mm. Innovation is the key. You have to keep on innovating, coming up with new ideas, new packaging, new product, whatever is needed for mm. you to survive and excel and even beat your competitor. And mm. the last, which is T, is about teamwork. Teamwork. Always make the company as a team, including your suppliers, including your distributors. This is a team. So we have a convention, annual convention, where we get all our suppliers together, all our distributors mm. together, to tell them that you are part of this team. Whatever success that we attain in the market is because of you as a partner. Yeah, I can so, still remember during that time, I was invited to speak uh, yung sa isang conference. Nyo. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, talagang was... sobrang ano, sobrang galing talaga. And then guys, ha, ito lang parang lang tayo nag master class lang. <laughs> Kaya nga, I suggest kung pinapanood mo to, please i-rewind nyo, sulat nyo lahat ng ano because this <laughs> business principles that you, we've learned right now are not from theory and not from books, are really from true to life experience. Mm. And guess what? Syempre 20, 2008, 2024, okay? Last year, kamusta ang growth ng 
happy kahit na wala ka na. Yeah, in spite of the, the pandemics, medyo may, nahirapan kami during the pandemic eh. Medyo mm. bumaba pa nga na konti eh, mm. pandemic. And then uh, last year was a boom year. It was the, the, the best year ever. Mm. So we grew by more than 20%. Uh, way about our uh, projected target. Mm. Uh, dahil po because of the innovation, dahil po because of probably because of the cost advantage we have over our competitors mm. whereby nahirapan ng uh, maraming nahirapan na consumer we had they have to switch to lower price product that is affordable with quality so yun ang lamang namin we maintain our quality and make sure that it's affordable <laughs> grabe ay nako para sa mga taong wala pang negosyo these are really great already tips for you to start one para sa mga taong nagne-negosyo at you want to scale these are also practical and very powerful lessons for you to grow and scale pero ito yung tanong ko gusto niyo pa bang matuto do you want to learn pa more oo if you want to learn pa more okay kung kayo ay nabitin sa first session natin na ito gusto niyo ba ng part 2 kung gusto niyo ng part 2 paki-type na lang ng part 2 sa may comment section na para mag part 2 po tayo sa part 2 kasi pag-uusapan naman natin yung in terms of finance with regards to personal finance kasi kanina pinag-usapan natin business eh mm. on our next pag-usapan natin how does a Cecilio Pedro walk handle manage grow mm. his personal finance kung kayo interesado type part to. Maraming maraming salamat for this first episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Parating sinasabi, tamang karunungan, tamang disiplina po ang susi sa pagyaman.